movie singles. Oh, singles, the movie? Music plays an important role in singles. The movie soundtrack is studded with alternative favorites and Seattle heavyweights, but the bands aren't just heard in the background, they're in the movie. For once you have musicians in a movie and it's, it's not a caricature or a stereotype, they're just real guys reading their first bad review and checking the lead singer's face to see how they're doing. I don't, I don't want to hear anything negative. Go on. There's a band in it called Citizen Dick. Amazing band. Amazing drummer. <laughs> Drummer's a hack. Well, Pretty yeah, actually he is, but he's an amazing hack. <laughs> you guessed it, Pearl Jam's Eddie Vedder, Jeff Ament, and Stone Gossard make their big screen debuts by playing the backup band to the not-so-talented lead singer Cliff Ponsier, played by Matt Dillon. Cliff, any comments on the Seattle sound and Citizen Dick's place in it? Well, I don't like to reduce us just to, as being part of the Seattle sound. I like to think of us expanding more. Like, we're huge in Europe right now. I mean, we've got records, uh, a big record just broke in Belgium. It looks good in the wig, too. He actually used Eddie's hair as a replica to make this wig, and so... Just, just gross, just... Matted. Knotted. He actually looks okay, let's pretty, make a wig of that. He looks pretty street. He kind of looks like a combination of Eddie and Chris Cornell. Chris Cornell also does a cameo in the film, and Seattle club scenes in the movie feature real-life Seattle bands, Soundgarden and Alice in Chains. There I was laid out on a table Screaming sweat and bad me to the floor We did one song for the soundtrack but we also did another song off the old album so we were playing for like two consecutive tunes through this whole section so it's going to be kind of interesting to see you know especially being in the movie that long be totally red faced by about the first second and probably walk out after that those are the kind of bands that you would see in a small club in, in seattle where you'd go just to get out of your house for the night you would see soundgarden playing in that club you would see Alice in Chains playing someplace. And even now, after they've been visited by great success, I think they still would and they still do stuff like that. Ricky Rackman here with me.